Hey there, this is your pal Pally, and welcome back to Gitter Raid. This is Tier 15, Heroic Throne of Thunder, and next up is Twin Consorts. This fight really doesn't have many major changes from normal mode, and may be an easier kill for guilds progressing in Heroic. It is a bit of a healing check, but it's possible to do two heals, as is done in this video. You also get bonus footage here of me doing the drawing of patterns, so if you were curious about that, stay tuned! As always with heroic fights, I'll assume you know the normal mode, and then just highlight the differences and strategy used. It does require two tanks like normal mode, and not much really changes for tanks at all. Taunt off for Beast of Nightmares in night phase, taunt off for Fan of Flames in day phase, and each have one boss during dusk. You'll still have to put the fire boss near the ice comets, but you will have to manage them a little different in day phase. We'll talk more about that in the strategy sections. So let's go through each phase, then talk about strategy and drawing for Celestials. So in Night Phase, the big difference is that the invisible adds will be spawning throughout the entire phase and shooting shadow bolts at your raid. It isn't bad to start, but they keep coming and soon they will be owning your raid. So how do you kill them? Well, every time Suen comes out to cast Tears of the Sun, you can have someone taunt Suen and drag her around the room revealing the adds. Once revealed, they will have normal aggro tables, and just need to be gathered up by tanks and AoE down. One note, any adds that aren't revealed by Tears of the Sun will spawn on the transition to day phase. And that really truly is the only change during night phase. Obviously things like Cosmic Barrage hurt more, and people need to be careful not to fall asleep from the flower clouds. But being too close for anyone for the barrage will likely kill those raid members, so just keep it clean. Day phase is a little bit changed. Basically every minute or so, Suen will cast Nuclear Inferno. This hurts really badly, but it doesn't if you stand underneath the shadow of an Ice Comet. So what this means is you're not going to be able to use every Ice Comet to take her fire buff stacks off. In general, it seems like you can use every other Ice Comet for taking her stacks off, but save one if you see Inferno will be going off before the next spawning of an Ice Comet. Again, very little change for Day Phase. Now usually since the goal is to kill Suen first in Dusk Phase, we chose to Lust here and get her as low as possible. Heading into Dusk, both bosses will be fairly low. So now comes the fun part. You have to watch out for Tidal Force like on Normal Mode, but also keep dealing with Inferno. It can get pretty rough. Do the same thing with the Ice Comets, making sure to keep Suen's stacks low, but also keep one around for use during Inferno. Tidal Force can be dealt with by stacking on her leg and doing some hard AoE healing. Of course, always be sure to be spread out for Cosmic Barrage. The Celestials are pretty helpful in this part, and we'll talk about that next, but really your goal here is to survive and kill Suen quickly. One note is that whenever either boss is doing their big special move, that is Tidal Force for Lu Lin and Inferno for Su En, they can't be DPS'd, so you might as well spend your time pew-pewing the other boss to keep their health going down. But your kill priority is definitely Su En. After Su En dies in Dusk Phase, you pretty much should win. The adds will start spawning again in Night Phase, but you really should have Lu Lin pretty low, and thus she'll die soon enough and you win. So let's talk Celestials. We chose to not use any in Night Phase, technically. We did use Crane on the transition phase between Night and Day, so that the Cranes would help kill the newly revealed adds. After that, we used Serpent to regen some mana for the healers, and finally Ox to help through one of the later Infernos in the phase. The real critical one is using Tiger in the beginning of Dusk Phase. It's really nice to be able to time Tiger to make the first Tidal Force completely avoidable. After that, I brought out Cranes and Dusk was just about over. If you're 3 healing it, this part may be longer, and therefore you could also use Serpent and Ox to help through all of the stuff going on in this phase. So, draw pretty pictures, stack under a Comet for Inferno, and reveal adds with the Fire Boss, and you'll have this one down in no time. Thanks for watching, and please comment, like, and or subscribe to the video if you found it helpful, and have a good one!